Hey, ready fast. It's the 28th of October, 2019. And I got to share this stuff with you. I mean, and it, it started the other day with uh, Jimmy Carter falling again. When I saw this article, I'm like, well, something's being shown here. Jimmy Carter, J.C., leaves the hospital, and they put out this article at 3.11 on the 24th, okay? That 3.11 is important. And another article I saw was about this truckload of death victims in the U.K. This is crazy, 39 people. Jimmy Carter was the 39th president, okay? 39th president of the United States. And the 311 has been mailed and messaged to me dozens of times. People wanting me to watch these videos about November 3rd. And I've got to see a little bit of some of them, um, but, you know, I guess I'm just not supposed to do that. This just all comes to me as I go along in my day and I look at the news and I start things just start to come into my spirit and I start writing them down. So remember that, you know, Jimmy Carter, J.C., if you break that down numerologically, it's a 13, 1 and a 3, right? 13 times 3 is 39. It was 39 people that were found dead in the truck. Jimmy Carter is the 39th president. And both of those articles came out on the same exact day. I'm not sure if that even has any significance, but just giving you the facts, ma'am. So we have this 39 pattern already kicking off here. You know, there's 39 books in the Old Testament. That popped up to me right away. And the prescribed whipping, or stripes, if you will, by the Jews, you know, when they would punish somebody, was 40 stripes. But they would only administer 39 as to be sure not to exceed the limit. You see what I'm saying? 40 stripes, save one. 39. That's crazy. Now, Jimmy Carter, J.C., like I told you, if you take his full name and all the initials from his full name, James Earl Carter Jr., you get 1531. Interesting, huh? I believe Jimmy Carter got the royal shaft when he got into the presidency. They just totally floored that guy, stuck him with the Iran hostage crisis, all manner of things. And he keeps falling down, but he's still kicking, building houses for poor people. I mean, I don't know the depths of the man's heart, right? And the, and the Greek concordance, the word 1531, which is what we get from the initials of James Earl Carter Jr., is to enter, go into, and you will find it 17 times in the Bible. 153, 17 is the triangular of 153, right? And you'll find that at one occurrence in Luke 11.33, where it tells us we don't put a candle under a bushel, right? We put it, we put it on a candlestick, that they which come in, 15.31, may see the light, right? And you'll also find it in Luke 19.30, the 93, the 39, right? And again, I see get these dozens of comments about this this 11.3. Well, I look at 11.3, and then in Europe, I look at it as 3.11, right? The UK breaks down to a 3.11, right? Which is also a 9.3 or a 3.9, because if you just look at the Latin, it's quite obvious, you know, that the 3.9 is the same as the 11.3. Because November, Novem, is Latin for nine. It's, it's blatantly obvious. So November 3rd is essentially 9-3 equals 11-3. Or in Europe, 3-11 or 3-9, the 39. You see what I'm saying? There's this crazy pattern here. Jimmy Carter, 39th president. And during the Iran hostage crisis, which he began on November 4th, okay? We're all looking now at November 3, I guess. But in the United States, when this began in Iran, it was still November 3rd. And it lasted 444 days. Go figure. To the last day of his presidency, which equates to one year, two months, two weeks, and two days. What a coincidence. 
And as of the 3rd of November, this coming up, 3-9 or 11-3, you know what I mean. It'll be 39 years, 39, 11 months, and 3 days, 11-3, or 30 days, rather. And the Jimmy Carter, the, the submarine he had named after him, is a Sea Wolf class submarine, and it's number 23. These are very secretive, and they are heavily armed with nuclear warheads, and that submarine is active right now. And the USS just happens to break down numerologically to 311, or 113. And as in Europe, 311. Both the USA and USS equate to 311. And the 9339 stuff just continues. We had 911 where we saw Flight 93 just disintegrate in a field in Pennsylvania, supposedly. So they build a giant memorial with this monstrosity called the Tower of Voices, where Mike Pence just spoke this past 9-11. Well, between 9-11 and 11-3 is 54 days. I'm just telling you, this stuff just plays out, man. So he's at the Tower of Voices, but if you look in Genesis 11-3 and 4, you read about the Tower of Babel. Again, 11-3. Septum, September, is a 7. So you can equate September 11th to 7-11, and you can equate November 3rd to 9-3, or 3-9. Ironically enough, the World Trade Center bombing, the first one, was on the 26th of February, 1993. Ironically enough, which the 26th we spoke about a little bit before, that is the numerical value of yod heh vav -Hey, which they use to mock God all the time, because it's 2 times 13. The 13 represents the rebellion. You have to understand, that this is both a spiritual and natural thing we're dealing with here. You see what I'm saying? The 13 just is a representation. It's not a literal DNA thing, but it is because it's ingrained in their blood because God put it there. God is what pronounced the number 13 to represent the rebellious ones. And they are trying to merge the spiritual with the natural, and it was represented in the Twin Towers, destroying the two and creating the one, 126, so that they will become as gods. Do you understand? I will be like the Most High. 13 times 3 just happens to equal 39. Turn it around, 31 times 3 just happens to equal 93. And we see the example of this rebellion all the way back in 1963 when the Munsters show came out. And they lived at 1313 Mockingbird Lane, where they were just a family of monsters except for one. The girl, the woman, the virgin, Marilyn, Mary. You see what they do? I mean, it's just insane, you guys. But this is what we're looking at. The 93 is the Thelema. Okay? Do what thou wilt is the whole of the law. We're watching this rebellion manifest. And if you're not in Christ, under his blood, it will deceive you and ultimately destroy you. This is for your soul, people. No wonder they put the sun 93 million miles away, right? Adam... Adam lived till 930 years old. That's another representation they use because they intend to take of the tree of life, going in another way. You understand? Through their own works, their own paths to righteousness and enlightenment. They are liars, thieves, and robbers. They are the synagogue of Satan. Jews who say they're Jews, but they're not. 
Why do you think, besides the Munsters, they also made the Adams family? I mean, it's just over and over again because their second Adam, ours is Jesus, the real second Adam. Theirs is represented by Lucifer. This is real diabolical, guys, and they will go to any lengths to keep you from the knowledge of Christ and to die in your sin. That's like the number one objective. Even in the concordance in the Greek, you just look at the, the words representing these numbers. A sacred thing, the holiest of holy places. You'll find that in Hebrews 9.3 as well as 13.11 and the G93 as adikia, as in Legal injustice, moral wrongfulness, iniquity, unrighteousness. You can find that in James 3, 6, as well as 1 John 1, 9. Just all of it just adds up, adds up, adds up. And this 9, 3, or 11, 3, is just prominent left, right, and sideways in everything I'm seeing here. So I'm sharing this with you that I will consider this a confirmation as to something potentially occurring on this November 3rd. I personally look at every day as if it is the day of our redemption. I pray you are secure on the rock of Jesus Christ. So I share this stuff. I pray that it makes sense. And that you just look to Christ, look to the Word of God for all understanding, and the Holy Spirit will guide you in everything. It's the only truth we have, folks. So, seek Jesus first, foremost, and always. And peace and grace to y'all. Many fish. Finally, my brethren, be strong in the Lord, and in the power of His might. Put on the whole armor of God that ye may be able to stand against the wiles of the devil. For we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against powers, against the rulers of the darkness of this world, against spiritual wickedness in high places. Wherefore take unto you the whole armor of God, 